Hi guys, um, I'm back today with another video. A little bit out of the ordinary today, not our usual, usual point of care ultrasound, but just some practical tips on how to get yourself set up to do um, TVA with the TCI pumps. I've recently really invested some time into this and I found this an exceptionally good way to provide uh, really nice rapid wake-ups um, uh, and just an all over very smooth anesthetic. Uh, and I'm, I've really enjoyed playing with this. So how do we get set up? Um, so firstly, um, I would say if you're going to use uh, Tiva, um, I would strongly suggest that in the current day and age with the monitoring available to us, you want to have some kind of central neural monitoring. So the minimum I would say would be something like Entropy. My personal preference is the Sedline line um, that also has the EEG spectrum analysis. Uh, as that's a little bit faster uh, to give you information. The uh, entropy and the set numbers are a little bit um, behind uh, the actual EEG because it's an integrated number. And so when you're going off to sleep and waking up, actually being able to look at the EEG and the color spectrum on the DSA is, is really helpful and very pretty. So uh, please uh, grab some stickers to put on patient's head if you're gonna use the TCI pump. So what else do we need to make this easy? Uh, we need to be able to draw propofol. Um, unfortunately, we don't get pre-filled syringes yet, um, although they are a thing that maybe in future will come. So I would suggest that you have the bottles of propofol with spikes um, for drawing up quickly and uh, a bunch of extra 50 ml syringes. And then to administer the anesthetic, um, you need some kind of connection to your intravenous or a completely separate intravenous. I like running combined propofol Remy, so my standard is using our little Y sets that go into the more proximal approach to the patient, um, ideally somewhere that's visible during the anesthetic. Um, these do not have anti-siphon valves, as far as I know. Um, so, uh, and then your, your tubing to go to your pumps. So what does it look like when it's all set up? Um, I have my IV pump because I run my IV through a pump to stop the medication from pushing back into the uh, IV giving set. Uh, I have my propofol uh, ready to go on my PK Alaris pump and I have my Remy fentanyl programmed um, to whatever concentration I want. I, I haven't gone to using the TCI on the Remy. And that's mostly because we don't have that many pumps, um, but that certainly is an option and something that I'll be exploring soon. I like bringing in my power bar, having all of my pumps connected so they don't fail, and then one extension to the wall so I don't keep tripping over it. So that's kind of my morning setup now. And then how do I program the pump? Okay, well, firstly, uh, we find the on switch, which is here. And it launches its uh, little startup menu. It asks me if I want to use TCI. So you can use this just as a normal syringe pump. We can from the Marsh model. And then we set the age of the patient. So big arrows adjust in tens, small arrows adjust in ones. And when we've got the right age, we press OK. Then we set the weight of the patient. Again, big arrows and small arrows, tens and ones up and down. We confirm, um, they're going to ask us to confirm again and confirm again that this is the syringe that we have, uh, which means that this is all correct, and then we're on hold. Now we do nothing until um, uh, the patient's ready to go, and then we start our infusion. So uh, I'm going to just go back to this video. And I want to just pause it right here at the end, if I can. And um, so just to show uh, a couple of things on that screen. So in that first box on the screen, you'll see uh, a CP and then CPT. So that's your concentration in your plasma is the top one. And the CPT is your target plasma concentration. And in the next box, you will see the CE, which is the central compartment. So these are all important numbers. Uh, you'll be programming in the CPT, the target plasma concentration. The one we're really interested, though, is that central compartment. Um, so 
We want to track that as the patient goes off to sleep um, to see where we get closure to to verbal um, or other stimulation and because uh, that would be our wake-up concentration and you will see later that we can program that into the pump um, as our decrement concentration to tell us uh, what, how long it will be until this patient is uh, before this patient will wake up and this time here uh, will be uh, th that that time um, once we put in the decrement concentration and the pump is started. Yeah, so the decrement concentration, um, this is something that we uh, can access through that uh, question mark button um, on the side of the screen. Um, that gives us our to our option menu. Funny, because I would say that a question mark would bring you to your help menu, but actually it doesn't. It brings you to your options menu. Um, and that's where you can program in the decrement concentration. That's where your particular patient at um, eye closure or the kind of stimulation that you're looking for on wake up. Um, it, once you've put that in, um, that uh, timeline will uh, appear in your pump to, to wake up. And I would say on average, just run somewhere between five to 10 minutes when your patient is asleep um, for most anesthetics. So now how do we, do we turn the pump off, turn off sequence? This is actually pretty tricky. Um, and as if, you're, if you're just going to um, look at one thing in this presentation, you want to look at this. So number one is you're going to put your pump on hold. So press the orange button. And then you're going to press what they call the options button, which is the question mark, which I still find funny that that's a question mark. Um, for an options button versus a help button. But in any event, once you press that, you're going to get this menu come up and you're going to um, press end of operation and um, you're going to press OK. So here are some of the other options. Of course, that will show up on your options if uh, you're interested in looking at that later at another time. So end of operation, OK. And uh, then it's going to ask you to confirm again. Then you're going to say confirm. And once you've done all of that, you can actually switch your pump off by holding the off switch. Now, uh, just in terms of thinking about TCI, um, again, this is not a, a full-on um, lecture on target control infusions. I definitely refer you to Dr. Anderson's very extensive talk on the pharmacology and pharmacokinetics. This is really just a how to get yourself started talk. Um, so what are what does our comparative infusions look like? So um, by the end, when we're stable, this is kind of the level that we're usually running at. So your central compartment will be around 2.2, 2.3 in my experience, which would be the equivalent of it running at six milligrams per kilo per hour or 100 milligrams per kilo per minute. So usually when we start TIVA on our pumps, we'd start at 200, um, which would be four on the TCI pump, and then at 150 years, somewhere kind of here at 3.2, and then two. Um, but for most patients, as long as we're stable, this is kind of where we're gonna, where we're seeing our pumps, our pump running. Uh, so that was just a quick run through on the TCI pumps. Uh, please get them out, play with them, practice with them and uh, enjoy your experience with giving Tiva. Uh, see you in your work.